so they can't see that corner. So later, if okay. you, you can come in through the You can say hi, and you can show everybody your unicorn. Okay. Hi. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Flashy and beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it has this little circle button. <laughs> it, it can only concentrate with your nails because they're kind of tough to get. Okay. That is amazing. So, I have, um, I have actually pressed the button to start streaming, but I'm not seeing us yet. Okay, good, good, thank goodness. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank goodness. yeah. That's it, a significant a delay. Minute, which is why, like, I was, I, if you saw my face, I was on Tinder folks waiting for, <laughs> mm. for us to show up, but then I saw us, so yay! And, and me, I was on Tintist hooks because, you know, because of last week. Um... <laughs> I hadn't even thought of that. Which one of these kind Wonderful of do you like? Blue, green, red. I think blue is my favorite. What's your favorite? My favorite is green and red. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. All right, Meridian. Daddy's got to start now. Wait. Oh, do you want to try to stop it? Yes. Up it in the stop. Here, maybe, maybe Daddy can do it. No, you can. Okay, and then there's... Okay, there you go. All right, here. Let's put you down over this way. There you go. It's a perfect match. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, yeah. So, um... Are we good? I, I think we're going to be live streaming. Okay. Like any second now. I'm down with that. We may already be live streaming. Okay, okay. So, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, very sorry that I, I didn't schedule the live stream. It's really just a very small little thing. It takes very little work. And then I didn't do it. <laughs> so. Hey, you know what? Yeah. The fact that we're still here every week, roughly at the same time, <laughs> yeah. feels like a big deal. Hey, I'm going to tell you to stop right there on that page. You bet. That one. Stop there. Announcement number one, everyone. Um, over the last week, I cleaned up our document for our grammar, which means now all of our fun random comments that were just like interspersed everywhere in the grammar have all been removed and organized and put into one place or just removed if we were done with them because we had kept a surprising number of things that we no longer needed. Yeah. Um, and so this page that you're looking at right here now, the top we have a little task list of things that we had talked about wanting to potentially expand in the language, a future routes to use list, as you can see, clearly marked by the giant asterisk. Um, and then the brainstorming area um, below that is again, just more ideas that we had talked about. And there's even a very small list that we had said, hey, these are for the mouse language. Um, and so we now have all of those things and also some extra examples that we didn't really need in the grammar itself. But if you ever ask for another sentence or phrase, I'm ready because we had typed all those out. All right. And so those are the first two pages now. Everything now, when you scroll through the rest of the grammar, is only going to have grammar stuff. Whoa. Okay. Look at all of these. Look at all of these little notes. I love it. And then... I know. There were so many good notes. I even, okay, I guess I should have asked how you feel about this first, David. Uh -huh. Do you like footnotes? Um, in, in these things? And I generally don't use them. Um, okay, we have but, footnotes now. Okay, okay. <laughs> because there were some like inside jokes and fun live stream type things that I wanted to keep the comment. Okay. But like, but, but like there was no place to put them in the grammar or things like, hey, this helped us remember how the argument structure worked. Um, so we now have footnotes. It's just, you know, I mean, those those flights of fancy are so inappropriate that they don't belong in a serious grip. It's a good thing we're not serious. Um, um, can I ask a question about this highlighting right here? Oh, of course you can ask a question. About this highlighting right here. 
Right, did you just want to ask why it's highlighted? Yeah, I did. Oh, it's great because I made up that example because we had I saw the rabbit, but we didn't have the rabbit saw me, and I was just making sure I didn't make a mistake. You did. Um, wait, did you? No. <gasps> I saw the rabbit. The rabbit saw me. And this is, yeah. No, you're fine. You're fine. Cool. Then we can remove that highlighting. So anything that's highlighting is something that I either had a question about or um, maybe in the dictionary, like there was a form that was suggested for a verb reduplication, but I thought it would be something different. So I've highlighted it just to like mark it as here's some extra things. Hmm. Uh, comment last week. I think I have WH examples you wrote since you did this plural. Shouldn't it be? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna need to get to that. We're gonna need to get to that. I'm really embarrassed about that. Um, and I added in a prepositions section because I didn't know where else to put this list. Oh, these are so notes. So I just added. These are notes. I even copied. Well, yeah, but like your bullet formatting. These these were just notes though, um, so there there isn't really a preposition section. But do we want to keep them in a unit for now until we're ready to not have to look in the dictionary every time? Oh well, well sure yeah, but okay. uh, but like uh, we haven't even answered all of these. Um, oh yes we have. Oh yes we. Have. We did. <gasps> wow. Oh yeah, Did, didn't I tell you I I spent hours updating the dictionary. <laughs> You're so cool. You... So now the dictionary should be totally updated with all of our words. Um, yeah. yeah, so we should be good to go, except for apparently Arturo's example um, that's being pointed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll, we will definitely get to that. I'm, I'm just humiliated, so don't worry. Um, Oh, and then the reflexive form. I suddenly was mm -hmm. like, wait, that was sort of reflexive slash anti-passive slash. And so I added notes on the this form because we only had it kind of randomly in a note tucked away under a different chart. So I added this section in here, but I'm not 100% sure how that this should is, be translated. This is correct. This is correct. Okay. Um, and then so we will... Uh, get rid of that so um, everything that you have there is correct when it comes to anti-passive that's that's gonna take some extra thinking about um, so give me a moment oh I okay. see oh could have Loman for, for cat it could actually end with an N um, it just couldn't end with an a n um, anyway good 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 I don't know why I'm leaning forward like this kind of hurts my back um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. these are notes but I guess we're still working on this yeah yeah I left that there because this is our list I took out the ones we've already created um, so like I yeah. deleted the who what and where from that top list and then I left the roots here of who uh, and where just in case we wanted to somehow use them in further forms of these WH words so I left those notes there since we have not finished our wh words okay so then to get to this point um edulo is indeed morphologically plural not singular and the verb does agree with the absolutive argument and so all of those verbs should be plural and i didn't realize it until somebody pointed it out in a comment on your instagram post with the with the darling rabbit picture and you had it written up there and i was like oh gosh that's wrong and then of course it's wrong because of me so, <laughs> because like you were just copying it i mean but I, am... I i don't know whether you realize this but i'm actually here too and i didn't stop you from typing that example the way you typed it last week so but i mean you can share that part of the blame it was these fingers that did it it was them. <laughs> Just <sighs> anyway, first, I'm disgusted. first rabbit drawing, trying to speak like a rabbit, and already got it wrong. I'm absolutely disgusted, and I apologize. Um, so, by the way, this thing is unanalyzable. The fue, 
Uh, and so we could say that it is, um, if you want to use some linguistic -y terms, under specified for number. Uh, and so theoretically, you could change this to a plural form as well and imply that something that the rabbit ate was plural. Um, mm -hmm. We kind of have a word like this in English, um, who is kind of underspecified for number and also person. Uh, like, you know, uh, I'm trying to think of an example. Um, you know, who you are. Uh, she is wait no that's those aren't good examples are they uh, that's the kind of guy no can you help <laughs> you know what I mean right there's a really good example where you use like who and am or are or is you know what I mean oh well I mean like who am I who are you who there are we, they there we go I mean who that was is the easiest one really good for all um, there was yeah a comment that it should be and, and so I'm looking up the form to see um, Calbiasas, Calbiasas with a Y. Ah, thank you. Yeah, that makes sense. My and goodness, then ASAS. That, -A that is an absolute mouthful. And that would then be um, stress on the, the ass at the end. Calbiasas. Excuse me. Calbiasas. Yeah. Just. I'm just giggling away, huh? There we I'm go. I'm totally giggling because I said we need to stress the ass. Yeah. <laughs> and then welcome and, to my brain today. And then emhika is not grass; it is. But we might as well just change it so that it's, you know, it, it, just so that it's consistent. Mm. There we go. Gabiasa sedulu. Yes. Have you know, I think it was just at the end of the episode, we were trying to get all the questions typed really quickly. It, it just, you know, these things happen. Um, the other one does say cabbage, though. The, that says whose cabbage did the rabbit eat. I know. Um, and there must be some reason for that. Uh, why on earth did we switch to cabbage? Maybe because here? rabbits, do they own the grass? Like, would you say whose grass did they eat, but whose cabbage? Somebody grew that cabbage, right? Well, what if they harvested the grass and put it in a basket? Um, you know, that's that's a good question. And I and I also can't remember off the top of my head if emhika is plural. Anyway. It is because it's yeah. because otherwise um, fika is a a leaf of cabbage. Yes, so it should be plural. And so anyway. fika is plural, meaning a single head of cabbage. Yeah, and so now the question is: Was there some important reason? Oh no, these aren't even real ones. Wait. Oh no, they are real ones. I'm sorry, they are real ones. Okay, is there yep. any reason that we have an hika here instead of a dulu? What are these I don't remember last week. I, I, I don't remember if we were just trying to get different grass. words. Whose grass? Um, no. You know what? No. I, I, I want to make it easier to figure out what's going on here. So I'm changing these to a do. Um, it may be the case that we changed it because it made more sense to own uh, grass than cabbage. But there's always a way. There's always a way. Um, and then says maybe, uh, oh, because it's a great word and you got sick of all the adulu. Uh, yeah, it is a great that word. That happens. It is a great word. Um, maybe I should have changed them all to an hika. Okay, but not right now. Not right now. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think as we get down to the dictionary you can check any highlights there in the episode and we can randomly have moments of let's question all of our sanity um excellent also as another update uh for laying time business before we get started with today's session um there's an episode guide a Google Doc for all of our episodes and so that guide is really just meant for somebody who wants to find a specific episode that covered a topic or a set of topics. Um, and then once you go to the actual episode on YouTube, three videos 
now have timestamps included in them thanks to Mike Katalinich because he sent me timestamps and mm. that was wonderful. And so episodes one, two, and 20 have um, in the descriptions actually have timestamps that you can use to navigate the video. If any of you would like to participate in the timestamping efforts um, for episodes three through 19 <laughs> or episode 21, which we're doing now, um, please feel free. I would love that help. Um, okay. Then on to Patreon. Um, on Patreon, so for the patrons, we do have a poll for voting preferences right now to see if you're interested in ending the voting window early. And quite a few of you have already voted. Uh, but if you hadn't seen that, please head over there today, um, you know, after the episode and get your, your vote in. So that way we know when to set the voting window to close for next week. And then that was all of my past business. I'm ready to talk about the poll results Ooh. for the coming, unless you had another announcement. Uh, um, no, I was just going to say okay. that I guess I've gotten used to wearing my glasses because everything looks fuzzy. I really need to stop wearing them. <laughs> or put them on to the live stream. <laughs> Goodness gracious. No? Okay. No. No. I, I personally think glasses are a win. You're, Always a good idea. Your, your glasses are very nice glasses. And they look good on your face. Uh, my glasses, I really feel like I was pressured into purchasing them. And I just don't um, agree with them anymore. They do help me see, but then I have something on my face. Ugh. That is true. You do have something on your face. Um, <laughs> that's it, a co pole co. It's good. I just snorted. That was good. Um, okay, so we had at the very end of last week's episode, uh, David had introduced this idea that um, rabbits would have this conceptual metaphor of time moving in some upward or downward movement. Um, but up down, we have two different directions that could go, whether time started down and moved up, like the growth of a tree, or whether it started high, like a leaf falling, and you know, came down to the ground. And so we needed to decide on the direction, which is what the patrons voted on. And there was a clear winner, like Yay. clear. Um, as in the downward movement of time where the past is above and the future is below only got three votes total. Everything else went to upward movement. So past is below like a, a plant or a tree growing. The future is above. Um, wait, it's not there yet. Hold on. No, the, yeah, the, 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 what? Wait, no, but it was the leaf one. It was the leaf one. That would have been the past above. Don't, oh my God, don't make me think I'm going crazy again. <laughs> uh, hang on a second. Just a second. I'm pulling up the image. How is it? Wait. Never mind, I did get it wrong. Yeah. Because when I explained it to you, I used the metaphor of a tree growing up as the future being where it goes. You interpreted that differently, where the top of the tree is the oldest part of the tree. Yes. And so in my head, I had the metaphors backwards. And so I do apologize. Okay. David is absolutely right. I was absolutely wrong. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. This this happens a lot with specifically this metaphor. With really, yeah, anytime yeah. you get into a metaphor that is not from your native language or a language you're very familiar with, um, it, it can get very mind bendy. And my mind was bent so much, you could say you wrinkled my brain. <laughs> nice community quote for you. Thank you. Um, 
and it was so wrinkled that I mixed everything up. The poll results do not change. Future above, past below, that is what they voted for. I just gave you the wrong metaphor. The metaphor is that the leaf is time. And time moves downward like a leaf falling from a tree. The closer it has gotten to the ground, the more time has passed. Okay, so the, one of the key confusions in talking about um, time and direction metaphors is that there's two different ways of looking at it. There is egocentric and then time-centric. So, uh, for example, um, let's say you're talking about um, a rabbit and a party, all right? And somebody is going to make it, so that party is going to be five days in the future from what the rabbit expected, okay? From the rabbit's point of view, then, the party moved up and away from the rabbit, right? Mm -hmm. And then, but the rabbit stayed motionless. From the party's perspective, the party itself moved up and the rabbit stayed motionless. So then, let's say that the rabbit is moving. Now it's like the party stays fixed, the rabbit moves. So it's like the rabbit is moving up towards the party or is it the rabbit, uh, uh, sorry, uh, so like the, is, is, the, is the rabbit coming to the party or is the rabbit going to the party? You know what I mean? And you see how those are backwards depending yes. on your frame of reference. So it's like, are you framing this from the point of view of the event or from the point of view of the rabbit? And so because of that, you can actually get completely opposite entailments. Originally, I was going to have four options in this poll, and so it was going to be a little bit more wide open um, because I separated these out. In other words, I separated out egocentric and then time-centric. But I was doing some research, and I don't believe that languages do that. I, I don't believe that languages are... I, there are languages that are like, okay, we, it's totally egocentric or it's totally like time-centric. Um, they actually mix them up. Um, and so then I pulled that back and it made sense to not do that. So you didn't see the other two pictures with the rabbit hopping or the rabbit digging. Um, the, so the important thing that we always have to keep in mind is that the future is always above and that the past mm -hmm. is always below. So that's, a, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's ironclad. And then the question is, whose point of view is this expression uh, referencing? Is it, uh, is it the, the rabbit itself or is it the event? And that is going to help us figure out which direction we need to be using. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so it was bound to be it's, confusing. Well, <laughs> and it's, I promise all of you that won't be the last time I say something backwards when we're dealing with something metaphorical <laughs> because that happens but that's why we have people here to catch us and say well that's not right <laughs> uh i was i was really glad the poll was decided in this fashion because a i think it's easier because we always have the idea that we have this basic metaphor good is up bad is down and like the future is brighter uh, and so on. So it'll be easier. Not not saying it's better. It'll just be easier to remember since it's going to be something different from what English does. But also, um, I think that we might have had to change the direction of the writing system <laughs> from top to bottom to bottom to top. I, right, right. I believe. So <laughs> this, this works out. That this was my mistake out. for even... Okay. Um, or even suggestible. Yeah. I was also, though, looking up time, and I found it very interesting. So the, the, there was just a small cross-linguistic survey of time, and it was showing how, you know, lots of different languages have lots of different time metaphors, uh, and from top to bottom, and, and so on, uh, from forward to back. Apparently, nobody has left to right specifically, either direction. Hmm. Um, though there is a general preference for if somebody is going to go from side to side, they'll start from left and move right, but I think that has more to do with the fact that there are more right-handers than anything else. 
but there's there's no language apparently where it's like the future is always on the left and the past is always on the right or vice versa. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was cool. Anyway. Um. Yes. That does remind me of one other piece of business, though, which is yes. I say that as if this discussion reminded me of it. Have I been but fired? But it is some. What's that? Have I been fired? Have you been fired? Yes. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> one more mistake like today, though. <laughs> Um, it's your call. Okay. So no, it, if you recall, yeah. partway through working on the dictionary, yeah. I realized that we have an accidental homonym. Homonym. Right, 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 right. Yes, this yes. is true. Here, let's jump to so, there. If you want to go to the T section, where we have toe. There we go. There's the two toes. Yeah, and it's not like um, they have different etymological sources or anything. They are completely 100% homonyms going all the way back. Um, yes. And not only that, they're both kind of important. Obviously, the word for father is important, but if you recall, the word for pile gave us our plural, so we really yes. can't change it. You are styling. Very nice. Um, so, yeah, we really can't change the word for pile um, at all. Uh, however, we can change the word for father. And preferably if we do change the word for father, the T would not change because yeah. we do use the, the fact that it starts with that consonant um, in like the pluralization strategy. So it is in yeah. the document elsewhere, but it, we could change the vowel or add a super coda or mm -hmm. add a coda and, you know, just do a copy vowel. So we do have a lot of other options but maybe just not toe again <laughs> yeah yeah so and jasmine says next week's poll is going to be should david be fired <laughs> the answer is no <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not worried i'm just going to talk to my union rep i'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> i mean two weeks from now but <laughs> 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 who knows who knows um anyway oh yeah absolutely that's that's the whole point yes we can give them a different proto form um but we can't give them a different proto form and have them come out pronounced the same uh because there's just there's nothing else that would give us that uh with our right. sound changes um so i've seen a suggestion of two i've also seen ta oh from uh from the diphthong from our ah uh, diphthong becoming ta or ta. Oh. Kind of like that actually. Ta. Yeah, well, sure. maybe maybe I like it because it sounds a little bit like I guess what is that? The uh, Scottish pronunciation of dad or is it Irish? Do you know which one? Da. Uh, Scottish, right? <sighs> Brother. I really right? should know this. Okay. I, I, uh, I, hmm. Um, and our word for mother is Ada. Mhm. Mm so Ta What's, and Ada. That's kind of cute. Add and ta, yeah. Tata, parents. So, I love it. Or a data, a data. <laughs> <It's just> still... <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I think we're pretty much getting all the vowel possibilities. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of like ta. If there's somebody that really feels strongly opposed to ta, yeah, I guess speak now or forever hold your peace. Because it's about to be ta. <laughs> That's what, I'm glad I remembered that because I almost, I knew there was something else I meant to add. And I'm not... Ooh, Taz, nice. Ooh, two is already a pronoun. Yeah, that, that kills that. Mm -hmm. That would have been funny. We just change it to something else, and one by one, have to change every word in the language. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. Good catch. 
Um, okay. So yeah, I, I think. Yeah. Ta. All right. Change is in the air. All right, I'm gonna go to the English side and fix the entry under father and dad. Oh, I, I, of course, I immediately changed the wrong one. So, awesome. <laughs> it's just one of those days, David. Yep. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, there we go. Oh, right. That's uh, why I don't do that. That's why I don't do that. Right. I'm getting it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, Jesse, did how Did your mouse decide to stop? Yeah, uh, no, I just did a thing. How, how well do you know, um, how well do you know uh, Def Leppard's Hysteria, the album? I, yeah, I mean, I couldn't even pretend to tell you how well <sighs> I know it. Before you say anything that might embarrass you, I should remind you that it's one of the highest selling albums of all time. It was. It's no Trans-Siberian Orchestra. No, definitely not in terms of sales. It's far greater. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't even know what's on it. I, maybe I know the songs just because I know the songs, but I don't. I don't know albums like you do, unless it's like Desiree or Trans Siberian Orchestra or Jewel. It I know those people. Oh gosh, it defined Aerosmith? our early lives. Like it became the album of the '80s. I'm sorry, your '80s and my '80s were not the same '80s. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. By the way, we do have some examples with father in yeah. them up above in the grammar. Let's go. Let's go take a look at those. Oh, you changed it in the. Oh, that's so nice. I already of told you. you. Yeah, I told you I did. That is so nice of you. Thank and also you. dad, because we had dad entered. Got us. So I also changed that. And then, and okay, and let's just make sure there's no stray dads. Anywhere, that's it. Okay, good. We're all we're all set on that front. Okay. Yay. Mm. I I think that so one of the reasons we were talking about time um, going into our poll was because we wanted to talk about when uh, the WH word. Oh, really? Oh yeah, that's right. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Did you see pumpkins? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, we should actually say something That's... to people that aren't reading, but it's like the, so he wants to do a vowel space for his rabbit. He says, the trick is actually getting my rabbit to make a statistically significant number of different noises on command. <laughs> that is great. Oh, Keep working. Keep working. Experimental data. <laughs> That's where it's at. Okay. Uh, w H. You remember that song? That had in the middle the double the Dutch, the double the Dutch. You know, remember that one? Like it sounds like something that happened, but I couldn't. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know. Okay. So. Is I that think a jump rope song? It, no, 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 no. It was a real song on the radio. Right, but people would jump rope to it. it was double. Well, Double Dutch is a real jump rope thing. I, I know. And there are plenty of songs that go you. with it. And maybe that song sampled a real jump rope song. So yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe. throw that in the maybe in the maybe pile. Maybe. Okay. In the maybe toe. And Get Dark it. Horse, I think um, any <sighs> potential of using an in out time metaphor would be potentially for other languages because yeah. um, this one we like the hopping idea so you know something to keep in mind or to incorporate into your own language and we'd love to see examples oh other big rabbit news i forgot i mean since since we're doing this we got to mention this yesterday i just found out that netflix is going to do a version of usagi yojimbo The, the rabbit, the rabbit manga, the rabbit samurai manga, <laughs> manga, sorry. Yeah, I know. I, I 
appreciate what you're saying to me. I understand all the words, but I don't know that franchise or series or character. He made like a crossover appearance, or I'm not sure if it was technically a real crossover appearance, but it was clearly definitely inspired by in uh, Ninja Turtles. Did you watch Ninja Turtles okay. in the 80s, the original one? Well, no, because oh, okay. my parents didn't like them. Something about Mr. Rat, I think they did. <laughs> I don't know. Or they were rude or they ate too much or something. I, I imagine don't know. you were also was, not allowed I'm to watch The Simpsons. Surprised, I'm surprised I was allowed to watch The Smurfs. You know, Gargamel. He was a really bad villain. He always wanted to eat them. That's pretty dark. Like, I know, but for some reason we could watch the Smurfs. I think because that was an older cartoon, and so my parents knew it from past two. I don't know. <laughs> the Chipmunks and Smurfs, that was my oh, yeah. Saturday morning. Oh, the Chipmunks were amazing. Tata <sighs> is... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Or, I mean, Tata is... Uh, um, is... Uh, that was what my great grandfather was called, Tata. Um, oh, wonderful! No, I, so I don't By believe the... that he started as Ninja Turtles. No, I think he, he has his own thing. But somebody can check it out right now, and you can let me know. Anyway, go ahead. Um, well, I just was distracted by Dark Horse's comment, Turtle Lang. I love turtles. We're gonna do that, right? We're gonna have all the languages, right? Yeah, there's there's really a, a lot of work in front of us. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to look forward to getting started on the second language um, probably sometime, I think, two and a half years from now. And then, you right. know, we'll just, <laughs> you know, actually, something I, I shouldn't even bring this up. I shouldn't even bring this up. But I, I will mention that Jesse and I toyed with the idea of streaming twice a week and doing two languages at the same time. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> We we had said that at one point, <laughs> and now I'm wondering how we would ever keep things straight. I mean, but we haven't made any mistakes yeah, we'll thus far, right? None, none. <laughs> it's not like I had to dig back through and watch two episodes to figure out where our, our plural came from. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but thank goodness we're recording it all, because otherwise we would have been just wondering. Yeah. Oh, Mateus. <laughs> he wants us to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's oh. tempting. It's tempting. Uh, we will definitely think about it. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do if we're talking about when, I think the reason why I brought this up is because we needed, I guess, some basic time terminology. Um, so. Yeah. Uh, so, like, when you do something like a, a, a when, right, there's always the possibility that you could have a, a when future and a when past. Um, and we needed to figure out if that made sense. Then we needed to figure out where the future and the past was. So that's, that's why we got there, I'm pretty sure. Um, but then in terms of actual... Whoop. Did you see that? Okay. I did not. I just saw you. I heard you make a noise, and then you looked down. It's like I pressed an an opposite enter button. I don't know. Anyway, no. Uh, look, I'm in control of this keyboard. Okay, so uh, for, 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 for when, it, you can have things like, obviously, you know, a word that means like time, but then also something like instance, what, and then um, maybe something like era, what, and then the question is, are any of these words going to come from something else? Like, how do you get these words? Uh, there are some languages that have some super basic word that means time, uh, but you don't necessarily need to do that. Um, something that could work if we just wanted to totally go this route would be um, uh, height what and then depth what, something like that. Interesting question, because if you say depth, I'm assuming underground, so the past just keeps going and goes underground. Uh, I, Is it, that correct? Well, it was more like I couldn't think of a better word in time, so I just went with that. Because, like, there is no loath, is there? No, there isn't. Was but, there ever a loath? No, but you know what? There is now. <gasps> Wait a minute. 
are are we doing um oh we're not doing spell check are we hold on let's let's turn it on briefly <laughs> I, th I thought maybe i created a it's on a, my version oh yeah yours is red line free no mine is on it's it's definitely underlined in red because oh. you know it is a word is cool you know that right cool yeah cool warmth and cool check it out i'm gonna no. leave oh yeah no. okay warmth, oh, I, I can't warmth Right? Cool. No red underline. Check it out. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Yeah. Why, why do we need cool? <laughs> oh, Is it Mateus, awful? I need to know what you think about this word cool. Is it I've awful? seen that you don't like the word cloth. Does cool work any better for you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I've been saying well, cool for decades. <laughs> he was. <laughs> He was cool before it was cool. <laughs> He's cool to the nth degree. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. my goodness. All right, no more the red underlines. Okay, yeah, Matei says it's even worse than cloth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the cool um. of the cloth. <laughs> uh, oh how my about, goodness. Okay, this could be uh, atemporal in that um, it's not uh necessarily high or low uh plateau something like that mm -hmm. or we could choose one of them to be the the default the unmarked form because like in english you ask you know how high something is um even if it's only you find out later you know that's a foot true. tall or something that's true um, that's true and, and i don't say a foot short <laughs> a foot tall um, and so we could have one of them do double duty, where it's the basic, but also you could use it to mean. Yeah. Specifically, it's, it's further away, it's higher, it's in the future. Okay. Let's think. Uh, what, what's our example sentence, right? Uh, the, eat the grass. When did the rabbit eat the grass? Mm -hmm. And we're going to need to use this with a preposition, I want to say. Um, unless we wanted to do whatly, because we, we did that, right? I remember I thought we, did we didn't do with, that, and then we did it. We did it with who? Oh, or, it was sorry, where. Again? It was where. I'm sorry. Yes. It was yes. where. Okay, let's go back. And did we end up doing because that? Because that's how we have new flow. Yeah, we did do that. But no, we de we decided to do something else because we didn't want to do wafwo. <laughs> and so we did something else. We did new flow. Okay. It's and fine. what does unus even mean again? <laughs> what does what? Unus. I'm looking it up. Scent. That's right. What scent? For where? Because yes. that got our whole discussion on smell. That's when we figured out yeah. there was a whole page of notes where we had no idea what they meant. And that's when I was like, I need to clean this up. So that was, of course. Okay. Um, I suppose uh, this is also, this is a, a, a rabbit-centric term. Um, you know, what hop or what instance of hopping? Uh, mm. Like mm. where in the hop is it? Like, is it, like what kind oh, of hop? That's better than my idea. Yeah, so that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Um, oh, Evan was asking if we could consider it associated with the sun because the sun moves. And that was actually going to be a suggestion I had for when we talk about a day could be a sun hop. Ooh. Oh, yeah, a little sun hop. I like that. Oh. Which would mean we wouldn't have a root per day, we would have a compound for it. And, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. She could also have a moon hop, of course. Yeah, I like them both. Gosh. I really like And that. so if we do like that idea, then having hop what would connect? <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, because it's that would too, put all the time terminology. It's too good not to do. It's yeah. too good not to do. Okay, so what was the word for hop? It was it was from boop boop. So it's um aha aha. Ah, okay. uh, I mean, but the, its proto form is aha. Uh, it's pro oh yes yes, 
and I'm gonna double check that, but <laughs> but I'm saying yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is. I just double checked. And our protoform for um, what is um, Fua? Is that right? Mm-hmm. So we are I'll looking at... You, yes, it is definitely Fua. Wrong old guy. Aha Fua. It's a little... Hmm. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. Uh, I have way. I have way. I have way. Have Wouldn't way. Wouldn't that just shorten to have way? Do you think it would do that, or do you think it would be have way? Um, oh. Well, how would it be said? Ah, uh, ah, ha, fua. Well, originally, yeah. Ah, fua. Ah, fua. Which would have. But the, the original ah would have been the stress part, right? Afwa. Afwa. I think that you are right because it's a what. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. And so Avwe makes more sense than anything else. Um would also like to point out that yet again we're ending in E, like Nufos are only O. <laughs> But um, but yeah, I think that that makes sense. So let's go ahead and write that up here. Um, goes to. Let's let's do this first and then go to our other words for day. I don't see the agentive thing, uh, Johan, for when so much. Oh my gosh. I typed in where instead of when. <laughs> Woo! Fix that. Uh, anyway, so. <clears throat> and sorry if I'm being silent here, but I'm typing in the dictionary entries so we don't forget. That's so nice of you. Honestly, I do absolutely nothing for you and you do everything for me. That's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go ahead and call BS on that, but okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, when did the rabbit All right. eat the grass? Dictionary updated. Mm -hmm. We now have Avwe in the dictionary. Okay. Oh. Then there's So how that. is it gonna work? And then avwe, avwe. This is a situation where I can see this getting elided and it being reinterpreted as an adverb. But I mean, we can keep it for now. Oh, would you? Would the win right now? Would you call that an adverb? I was being very Englishy in my adverb assignment or would you call that a noun um do you um on which side the angala in the, to english well, in or? the angala dictionary what part yeah. of speech label would you assign it uh, wait. um i guess that would be a noun wouldn't it if it's gonna have a preposition yeah 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 it's a noun and new okay. would be a noun. I think you, what you would call it is you'd call it a pronoun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to fix new flow as well because I know I'm fairly certain I also labeled that adverb. I sure did. Mm. Um, 
I want to ask this question. How do you feel about us as the preposition instead of a uh, for inside, like inside the hop? Where is it? Oh, that's much better. Thank you. You just saved us. You just saved us. Oh, thank you so much. I do what I can. That is so much better. In the English dictionary, do you want where and when also listed as pronouns for their part of speech since that's how they're used in the Yangaga forms? Um, no, I, I just go with what, what we call them in English. So I think when is an adverb, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now. Wonderful. Anufo usavwe. Ooh, and I like that. Usavwe. Usavwe. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. Yeah, Wonderful. Okay. So we now have. Oops, I just did a double savwe. That's that's good. That's good. That's I like that. All right. Nice. Okay. So day, night, you want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. All right. <clears throat> the question is, would it be hot sun, hot moon, or would it be moon hop, sun hop? Um, hot moon. Because that's to go the... With the... Okay, so we have Ulu. Let's start there. really shouldn't use that pen. It just like exploded all over my page. And Trying to take better notes so that way I also remember all the things we did. Now, what was our rule about um, stress and compounds? That is a wonderful question and I remember actually typing a note in the noun section. It was in the noun section, not in the stress section? Hmm. Oh, I can see why that would make sense. I don't. In compounds, main stress falls like on the in, main stress of the second the element. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you think about a holo? Ooh, I like it. I repeated that information in the noun section because we had more information um, underneath possession, because if you have mina ime, that means rabbit's nose, but if you have mina ime, <laughs> it means rabbit nose. Mm. Anyway, that's why I had it in the noun section. Um, Neither here nor there. Yeah. What? We're entering a word. Sorry, I'm looking at this um, highlight in here. Oh, yeah. Um, one, I just wanted to make sure you would also call that a particle, or would you call that some sort of auxiliary because it is the imperative marker. It doesn't inflect really, though, so no. I called it a particle. Particle. Good. Yep. Um, this was highlighted in the dictionary that I had, so I highlighted it here. I wasn't sure why it was highlighted in the dictionary. Maybe it's because we don't have an entry for come, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we don't, do we? No. So we never actually fully made that verb. I guess not. Um, so let's just keep that there for right now. We gotta. Okay. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta pet our ducks while they're chirping. Okay. Say pet or ducks while they're chirping. Very common expression. Everybody uses it. Common. <laughs> common, he says. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a holo, I'm going to go enter that for night on the English side. Yeah. And let me just double check on that plural. Um, night. If I can find in. Mm -hmm. We already have a word for night, David. Really? Haneli. Haneli. A mouthful of stars. <gasps> oh my god. So we now have a synonym. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this is... Um, we'll, we'll figure this out as we go along. But um, this is... Uh, analogized from 
Well, we actually need the other word to say what it's analogized from. So, sun, <laughs> easy. Sun. I got yes. it. I got it. How is that not on the English side? Uh oh. I hate it. That's fine. That's good. Someone that's, didn't that's... enter sun. <laughs> Totally me since I'm the one who did this. Okay. And it's just I Z I, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And then let me just double check on the plural. I think T is the one that we want, right? The plural of sun is a qua. Oh uh, yeah, because of, yeah. of the vowel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that T becomes qua in front of any vowel except a U. Yeah, but also it doesn't matter what the plural of sun is. It's um, inedible, inanimate objects. It's the plural of a hopping, and it is T. Okay, so good. That T is fine. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, where did I put that? You're in the A's, right? Yeah. Where? Where? There's a hello. Where's? Oh, I didn't actually do it. Sorry. Okay, here we go. I'm doing it. A H E Z I. Good, easy day. And that's going to be for real. But wouldn't it be qua? Mm. Quaholo and quahesi, because inedible, inanimate ob um, objects take a qua prefix before words that begin in a vowel. You bet. Other it, than the u. It was ulu that took the t, because it starts, because with, it starts a, with the, the u. u. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I will mark the stress on that. Ooh, and I need to. Get down on the English side for a day. Okay, and what did our word end up being? A uh, hazy, right? Mm. Uh, Evan, Evan, oh, it's Evan Swart. Why have I always been saying Evan Stewart? My apologies. No, the all doesn't vocalize, or, or not. It's not that it vocalizes or it palatalizes or anything like that. It gets run over, so it, it gets elided, uh, deleted. That's why it's I, not, not because it becomes a yeah. Okay, and then while you're there, oh, you already fixed it. Do you want this to have the um, accent mark as well? The ahizi. Uh, in the entry for night, analogized from. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the, yeah, but also we need to make a change. Uh, as Rafi points out, it's a holu, not a holo. Oh. That's my bad there. Let me run down and change that on the English side as well. Good catch. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So in terms of usage of this word for night, um, my feeling is like maybe once um, Henley becomes a term, it's, it might be preferred, uh, but then Aholu is more basic. I'm trying to think of a good analogy in English. Um, Unfortunately, the only thing I'm coming up with is like envelope versus envelope, where. Well, I feel like too though the fancier. difference is, um, like if you're just talking about nighttime versus daytime, right? Like it's just it's either dark or it's or it's bright, and so if that's all you're focusing on, then a holu could just be that word for oh, it's the opposite of when the sun is up. Fine. But like when you're talking about night in the sense of especially thinking about it being a like metaphorically a mouthful of stars, mm -hmm. if you're out stargazing to see a comet, I think you're going to use Hanali. You're not going to talk about it as a holu because that just means it's dark outside. 
um, or like yeah. if you're being like very specific about a time, you could use a whole loop. But like if you're talking about, I think you're right. Yeah, something to do with the stars and constellations, and even if they want to get mythical, I feel like Hanalee would be their choice. So it's kind of like uh, Hanalee is uh, a description of what it is, whereas a mm -hmm. is is specifically highlighting um, a specific time passing. So it's like, right. you know, five, five Aholu from now, Kwa Holu, right. sorry. Um, mm -hmm. But um, if you want to talk, talk about night in general, mm. yeah, Jim Morrison is using Hanalee. Got it. Okay, I like that. Um, let's, let's see how I can um, make that. No, I think I'm going to delete this. Actually. Um, Zach asked, David, is there any language you know that has a word for moonrise? Like specifically, English. I guess, for moonrise. What's that? English. <laughs> Besides. But, but, English. Um, but we don't often talk about moonrises that often. No, we don't. And because of that, none of the languages I've studied have I ever, you know, bothered really to look up um, if that term exists. And if it does exist, right. it's common. Because, of course, it exists in English, but... <clears throat> Obviously, it's a bit disingenuous to say, like, oh, we have that word. It's like, technically, we do. We also have cool. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I don't know if you missed this. I forget who said it at this point. But you know what the plural of cool is? No. Cools? No. Like, I, I just said no as in not that I couldn't guess it, but no as in no. Maybe... No. Uh, Hold on, maybe it voices cools. How many cools? Gosh, no. That's horrible. Um, okay, so I also updated the word count. So we now have 14 A words. It is the highest in our language so far, followed by the L words, of which we have 13. Okay. Oh, and we're going to have another one because we need to enter the verb for the come because or we can do that at some point it's highlighted we'll remember uh so by the way johan is asking about that word for come can we find where that original set of notes was you know david i, I wish <laughs> i could say <laughs> it's good. but if you go to the command section Yes. Um, under verbs, I don't. Did, what, did we call them imperatives or commands? Same thing. Um, Can drop that. Really. Word in there. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, number eighteen or page eighteen. I mean, command is our word. Um, we have it there, and we had decided the notes had consisted of possible verbs we could use, um, English translations of possible verbs we could use and the root that we decided on and that was the extent of our notes <laughs> well i have to believe that what we wrote was accurate that we wanted it to come from a word that meant come right um and i can even double check because I had told David before I touched the document I was very paranoid that I would screw everything up and so I kept a copy. Well I mean we also had the previous PDF. I know but I also have the pages copy just in case. No, I, uh, um, no. Yeah no it really I, I really wish I no there's not even really any <laughs> so now it comes from we don't hop. have any information Evan is suggesting that it comes from hop which I think makes sense I think it does too I was wondering about Ali because I was like why did the L disappear uh, well we had it disappear elsewhere it was in Kai remember Okay, okay, okay. So we... For Kali. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. 
And by the way, uh, Hindi goes even further than that. It also has one word for the day after tomorrow and the day before yesterday. Uh, it seems so functional. It's like, how dare you be so awesome? Um, okay, I think Evan is absolutely right, though. Hopping. I think it was hop. So then let's let's jump very quickly to the conjugation table for hop, because I know that we have it. Ahes, Isis. I think the idea was the the I, I became I. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay, so good. That settles that. Let's write that down. Parent and marker, which is placed before verbs. And definitely not related to the word for come. Um, which means we need to change that root, too. Doing it. There we go. Yeah. Um, I usually Perfect. don't do that. Don't do. Oh, that part. Okay. Uh, really, I would just do two entries. I mean, I guess if you think about what would you see in a real dictionary? Um, I, I, was... I may have also been being a bit lazy um, because we have several particles that do this kind of thing where the final hmm. consonant only shows up in certain environments. And so then this is I what... think I was just doing the optional so that way I only had to enter one entry. This is what we should do, like that. Um, How do you feel about then that saying the S is a suffix? Are you good with that? It is a suffix. Okay. Because I'm it's a phonological sure. form that occurs after the root. Okay. Remember that it doesn't have any meaning. It's just a I'm suffix. Just, I'm just making sure you're okay. <laughs> uh, and then uh, we don't, oh, let's okay. see. And then let's get rid of, there we go. Uh, and then we can just make all the rest of the forms like that. Yeah, there's a couple more that will need to be changed. But, you know, that sounds like something we'll encounter as we go through. Okay, <laughs> so we now... Folk etymologies are on the rise, just FYI. <laughs> they, have their own, <laughs> they have their own agenda. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, yes. We now have words for, well, another word for night, day, and when. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think... As far as the actual examples go, we're down to how, yeah. how many, and why. Yeah. Those are the, the ones there. Of course, what we want to do with those and whether we want to expand this list up here. I'm going to remove when because we just did that one. Um, whether we only want one why or we want three whys. We, or how many hows we want. Um, we could conflate how and why. There are languages that do that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not saying we should. Just, just saying we could. Uh, I, sorry, I was just immediately, I immediately went to our, you know, examples, and it's like, I could just imagine, you know, like, why did you eat my grass? And the response is, with my mouth. <laughs> oh. oh, those parents are going to have fun with their toddlers. <laughs> Let's see what we have in the way of... Why is it doing that? Hmm. Just a moment. Are you having some issues? It was automatically going to things. Hmm. I see. That is strange. Oh, this really would. <gasps> oh, boy. 
this really does argue for conflating why and how because the instrumental and the oblate are the same hmm. wow that's fun interesting I missed the first part of applesauce projects comment including english english does it we have how come and why are the same yeah how come and why <laughs> but we have to have that verb how do second language learners learn how come <laughs> that's a great question you know i actually Fun fact, um, in grad school, did um, a, a study because it was in a syntax class, and I was trying to figure out if there were particular environments where you would be more likely to have how come versus why. Because I was blown away whenever I stopped and thought about it. I was like, why? Because the, the whole question itself also has to be changed. You don't say, how come is the sky blue? Mm -hmm. You have to say, how come the sky is blue? But you say, why is the sky blue? So like you right. have to do a completely different formulation of the question. And so anyway, I was trying to figure out if there were some method to the madness. And besides the fact that how come seems to be sort of set for um, simpler questions, um, it, it's just kind of bizarre how we have it. Yeah. I, mean, I love it because... Those little quirks are what make languages so much fun. Uh, by the way, I I know why you highlighted this, and it's because it's really baffling that that would actually be the reduplicated prefix, but it is. You're <laughs> just stuck with it. Which one, sorry? Lin <clears throat> uh, uh, Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I know. It's awful. It's awful, but we're stuck with it. Um. Did we make a decision about, I think that if this is coming from away from that, we should probably have a different one for committative. So, so let's just leave it as instrumental. Um, beep, beep. I feel like I'm missing half of a conversation. I was so excited to talk about how come and why. No, I know, I it's just, missed. it's, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you you stop and think about it every so often, just every so often, you know, just ha you know this phrase how come, um, and it really I don't know it's it's really disquieting. It's kind of like on hand. You ever think about that on hand? Feels like oh, there's a lot of other words that are missing. It really, yes, yes. Um, also, I see why you were adding. I did not include the instrumental of Minya. Yeah. Minya. Yeah. Linya? No, that should be Linya. Linya, that's right. Yep. Because it's, see, mm, you trust me with things and this happens. <laughs> trust you with my life, but yet you... And then this happens. And yet you don't trust me with your social security number. <laughs> when I'm holding you from the edge of a precipice and I literally have your life in my hands, I'll give you my social security number. That can be arranged. <laughs> I like hanging over precipices. Should I mention my arm strength is probably not where you want it to be? <laughs> That's fine, because I trust you with my life. <laughs> Dude, I better start doing those daily push-ups they're suggesting. <laughs> there, was a, there was a wonderful human giant sketch where my goodness there was uh, somebody who was uh the there was somebody that hired a mover and the way that it, it, she was a, a a rather petite woman and they're like wow we have a lot of furniture to move you're just gonna move it by yourself he's like no i have my son and it's a little boy he's like how is he gonna help you he's like they, like this and so the little boy gets trapped under the piece of furniture and she's like oh my god my son and so she moves it because she says you know parents get superhuman strength <laughs> when their children are in danger then it goes um one of the one of the the one of the men that you know hires her actually gets trapped and is dying underneath a heavy piece of furniture and she's like just save him it's like i can't he's not my son 
And he's like, what if you adopted me? And so then she goes through the entire adoption process. Oh, my gosh. And, it, and, the, and then the, the, the clerk says, is it official? He's like, it's official. This man is now your son. And she says, oh, my God, my son. And so then she goes to move it, and she can't move it. He's like, what's wrong? It's like, I just can't feel the same way about my adopted son as my natural born son. And then a splash graphic comes up that says, don't adopt. <laughs> that was the that joke. Horrible. It was a That's joke. Horrible. It was on a sketch comedy show, but it was horrible. Oh, it was it was <laughs> It was so I thought she was going to get her superhuman strength, and then I was nope. all—I was like, okay, I'll have to be ready to adopt you at the edge of the cliff to make sure I have the superhuman strength. <laughs> but no, you, and then, you dropped and then me to my death. that was the end of it. I just—that was horrible. You dropped okay. me to my death. Okay. So. So now, what were we doing? We're complaining why and how. <laughs> but why are we in the L's? Oh, we're not. <laughs> oh, why were you? At least we are not. Look. I had to do some things, okay? So. Oh my gosh. Linya. This is what happened. Okay. And then for with what? With what what? That's that's what we're that's where we're at. Let's get rid of these. That's why you were notes. in the L's for the linya. Yes. Linya. So, with what equals how why? <gasps> Bibleridian, save us, do this for us. Just just do it and we'll oh write whatever you gosh. say. <laughs> <laughs> With what? Okay. And you wouldn't want it to just be Linia <laughs> Fue? Um, okay, wait, what was the etymology of Linia? Oh, that's a great question. It comes from... Oh, you're getting there faster than I am. So go ahead and read me the etymology. Lanfa ama. And so that's leaving and then... And face. Leaving the face of what? Leaving the face of what? Well, let's... I'm not a big fan of that. Sorry. No. Let's just let's just see what this monster comes out of. Lean him avway. And so maybe just lean him avway. Lean him avway. It's kinda terrible. Yeah. Um mm. What about just one moment of thinking here? What did we have a benefactive preposition yet? Did we decide like how we would say something was done to or for? I think so. I think it was just Lou, wasn't it? Well, I know that two as a direction was Lou, but did we decide that was also the benefactive? We didn't enter it into the dictionary yet. Well, no, of course not, because let me check the preposition list. I'm not sure we. Usually when I do that, I write the word benefactive somewhere so I can search for it. I have not done that yet. No, we have not. So do we want to use that as the benefactive? <clears throat> and the reason I'm asking uh -huh. is because what if instead of with what, we said like for what rabbit, for why or how? Uh, for what rabbit makes with sense why. for why. Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, why would be the one that is like so that, the main form there. So then we wouldn't be conflating them anymore. Oh, how has to be the main one for them to be conflated? Uh, no, the the it, it was conflated because of the preposition that we were using. Because of with. Yes, because it was both mm. instrumental and also uh, away from slash authoritative. That's right. We just had that conversation about seven minutes ago. Okay. Evan, probably not during the pandemic. Honestly, I'm hanging by a thread. <laughs> anyway. This pandemic. 
Mm. We need to have a whole live stream just talking about that. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So it needs to be instrumental. So we're we're kind of stuck with this whole linea. Linea. Yeah. I'm going to get it right. Linea. Yeah. That's it. So it's like linea, but then we could have a separate word. Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, that wouldn't make any sense. Never mind. Linea. Linyabwe. I mean, Linyabwe? Just say with what? Linyabwe, I mean. Like, or out of what? Yeah, Linyabwe. Um, we could keep it as, we could actually keep it as just separate words. So I guess like, here, here are some options. Um, Linyabwe. Linyabwe. And then Linya noun <laughs> great the Bloridian's about to just write us off word because the word for father is done <laughs> should have been here you could have <laughs> put it <laughs> in two cents um Okay, okay. What if, David? Yeah. We have one basic form, mm -hmm. like linea hoy, which means why or how in generic sense. Mm -hmm. But then we could have, like, um, a word like with what tool or something like that, like some sort of like, because I mean, we. I think the only tool we have a word for right now is hoe um, or pole um, to ask specifically like if, if there needed to be a situation where it's like how did you do that but only specifically for doing something that takes a skill right uh, like you wouldn't say like how did you walk there it'd be like oh how did you plant this thing or how did you grow this thing it would be like their their skill how well we could um we could do that but we could actually go with your other suggestion and just have both so we have one word that means how and why and another one that means why and it's for what rabbit okay um i like that do, do you like it's okay you don't have to. i do you do because i i like the and also i i don't know how did we get different forms of of fue last time. I was also trying to remember how we got. It's it's using back vowels, and we mm. just keep not using back vowels. Don't. Yeah. We just don't. Okay. So. I mean, we do technically have all the forms, though, right? Because we have the H form, we have the fue, and we have the fue, and we will have a fue potentially. Do we have any just with the F with fue? No, because we haven't. Yes, well, we, no, we have fue. We don't have fue. Yeah. Okay. We need something with an S that is front vowels to get fue. Um, mm. But we can, we, yeah. can, we can get that with how many? We can get that with how many? There's still hope. There's still hope. Okay. Um, there's still hope. Okay, so um, what do you like better? Keeping it as two words, like, you know, uh, like, you know, por qué in Spanish? Or one word, like por qué in Spanish. <laughs> I, um, I mean, I feel like if you're going to say it enough, it's going to become one word. This is true, but I mean, Spanish. <laughs> the, true, but in fast speech. Do you hear the difference very much? No. <laughs> okay, so like in fast speech, right? Like you would one porque would sound like another porque. Well, it, it's actually it's more of a stress difference because uh, the second porque means uh, means because of, uh, and so right. you know you know porque estamos hablando de, like, de eso, or something like that. So it, it goes like that. But whereas right, the other one is right. like you know I don't know porque somos porque somos locos mm -hmm. or something like that. Then it you know. Okay, so here's the thing. Let's copy Spanish. And in Spanish, 
So two words is going to start a sort of dependent clause structure saying why or how something happened. But if you're asking in a question, why did you do that? Then you're going to have a one mark. From what? Oh, uh, you know, I, I hadn't even gotten that far for thinking that. So this is essentially this is essentially what that oops, I'm sorry, what it means in Spanish. So, uh, but the, the reason why this happens in Spanish is because uh, que means both what and that. Mm -hmm. um, but I think they actually do come from the same source in Latin, don't they? And they're not actually different words that just coincidentally sound the same in Spanish? I don't think so, but I don't know my Spanish etymology well enough to be able to answer that with more certainty than I believe what you just said is correct. But like you're super, you're super English, so you should know Latin, yeah? I studied Latin. Do I know all of Latin? No. I'm not like you. You study something 20 years ago and you're like, let me give you an example sentence. I'm like, I studied something 20 years ago and now I can't remember what I ate for lunch today. I'm sorry. Well, sure. But I mean, but, but I was just like, because like you do, like you actually teach English grammar. Like, yeah. like with yes do you do old english too like you know from beowulf I, to I, chaucer to gowan and all that i mean for fun i've taught old english classes but again for i have fun. to always like look things up to remember what wow. things mean my goodness Oh my goodness. Haven't we talked about the fact that anyway. my fluency in any language is hampered by my <laughs> overthinking of all vocabulary? <laughs> porque. <laughs> Sorry, Agma just There's also porque, an English loan word for pork. That's sometimes used in Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I believe that's the French influence. <laughs> um, Theo is saying that they are actually the same origin. Um, okay. So that is good. Yeah, what did you eat for lunch? What did you eat for lunch? You know, and what's funny, Veronica, you mentioned that. Um, and as I asked the question, I, I suddenly remembered. I had a delightful little, little salad with some salmon on it. It was All delightful. All right. All right. Well done. So I remember. Well done. Um, so In fact, so well done. I'm rewarding myself. <gasps> oh, wow. Forget this porque discussion. <laughs> Can't cope? Copico. Copico. <laughs> Copico. Mm. Oh, look at that. I just turned it into a verb. Okay. Chicken nuggets, fish sticks, and ketchup. Logan, that sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Most of the time what I have for lunch is what my daughter didn't eat. I remember those days. Now, mm. my son eats everything. Yeah. Like, he eats what's left on my plate now. Like, mm. you go to a restaurant, <laughs> you just hand your leftovers over and, and they're gone. <laughs> okay. So, uh, this is kind of an open question if we want to do this because that's going to have far ranging, ranging consequences. That is, if we actually want it to mean because of, what it means is we're going to have the same type of, um, of you know, I, I, I want to say multiplicity, but it's a different word, where the word for what can also double as the word for that. So in other words, the WH word is becoming a subordinator. Mm -hmm. And so we might want to ask if we want to do that. But are you okay with two words, linyafue? Yeah. Okay. And then let's let's do that for right now. And we're going to call this how and why. And then we will create why too. Um, so, you know what? It occurs to me um, since we should probably underline the preposition as well in these because that's mm -hmm. kind of a crucial part yes, of it. Yes, because that is actually very important. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how important it is up there, um, but okay, it can be assessed as um, Linea fue. Linea fue. 
I kind of like that. That is nice. So this would be how or why yes. did the rabbit how eat why? the grass? English, man. Look at how much we had to change that because we changed that one mm -hmm. little thing. Okay, so uh, we don't need... Grammar is so much fun. We don't need that. Um, and let's go ahead and very quickly do the other why. Because I think we mm -hmm. can get to how many. Um, Question real quick. You do you want how and why in the English side of the dictionary as a the linea fue, just to remind us that we have words for how and why if we're looking on the English side? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, totally, 100%. But it doesn't need to go in the Angada side because it's just a grammatical put instrumental and what together and that's how you get it um i will put it but i do it as a, 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 a i i've got a way of doing it i've got a way of doing it i'll do it i'll do it you've got a guy who knows a guy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay cool. so um Oh yeah, so we need to make this decision, and I think that we did. I just don't remember, because it's like if you do it in sight of another rabbit, then you know you're doing it for them. You, I mean, quite literally, you're putting on a show for them. Right. And so, mu y me fue, and then so for whom? Yeah, ni me fue. And then this could have the same distinction. Oh, oh, it's kind of a bummer. Beep. Um, so, lu me fue. Why? Megan, I hope you have a good rest of your day at work. Oh, I too hope that. Megan had to duck out early. Right on. Okay. So there's that. Oh, why? Oh, and it's okay. Isn't it Mavwe? Yep. With a V? Yep. And then, <laughs> would this be a why in the world? Oh. That would be a good Google fight. Why on earth versus why in the world? Which one is more common? Versus why in hell? If you wanna if you wanna go that route. I, I, I like world and earth because they're the same thing. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Why do we have that? Why do we have in the world and on earth? Why both? But I feel like if you put why in front of it. I'm more likely to say why in the world instead of why on earth. But who on earth would do that is more what I would say, even though I could say who in the world, I feel like I'm more likely to say who on earth. I appreciate that you feel that, but have you actually recorded your own speech? And uh, I am always recording my own speech, always see. analyzing, transcribing. I mean, like I, I do nothing but analyze myself. <laughs> Maybe see, this is what this is what graduate students are for. You need to hire one to just follow you around and record all of your speech and analyze it, so we can figure out is Jesse more likely to on Earth or in the world, depending on if it comes after why or who. But okay, here's the thing: without that analysis, Dark Horse just say where in the world, which made me immediately do the thing that Veronica did, which was Carmen San Diego, mm. right? 
Like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Okay, so is a catchy song. Maybe it's the what in the world, right? So why in the world? But notice it's not woo, it's who. So maybe it's that sound thing, because hmm. where in the world? It's in my head because I want to sing it like Carmen San Diego, and so hmm. why? I would never ask when in the world though. When in the world did you do that? So you wouldn't say, but you wouldn't prefer something like, you know, who on Hulu? You know, who on Hulu said you could do that? <laughs> Only if it were specific to Hulu verse and I knew it was in Hulu. <laughs> Only then. Okay. I, uh. By the way, I put the English entries in for why and how, just so that way they're there. You can fix why later, since there's three different ways to say why. Yes. And we certainly don't need that extra spurious underline. Okay, so how many is, uh, if we want to do this, this is a place where we can make a new word and we can get one of the ones that we don't have. Either vo or Fue has a suffix. I think it would have to be fue because technically we're using fue now with huina fue, and fue is fue on its own. So if we want to get the final form, we need wo. Wo. So. Which requires a back vowel and no no s. We can't yes. have a coda s. Right. But what happens? Um. happens in this? Oh, loom huo. Could do that. This is the thing. We don't have that. We don't have that anywhere. Loom huo. What is... Oh, that was... If it has a coda N. You just made up a word. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I, just, I just threw a spurious form in, in front of fwa that had a back vowel and an N. Why so, would you be picking an L? I, we just talked about how we can't have any more L words, David, and you're like, let me throw an L out there. <laughs> Sorry. How about, about an how about, N, how about toe? a P, a T? <laughs> um, anyway, and then... Of course. So, so yeah. The, we have to decide, do we like vo better or vo better that we want to do right now? I like vo better. You like vo better than vo? Look at yes. all those. Tum vo. Tum vo. Tum vo. <laughs> Dark Horse knows what I'm talking about. Except that would be ling hui. Ling hui. Lin Yeah, so the, the... Juniper's on board with those voiceless nasals. But Arturo agrees with me. Whoa. Okay. What should we do? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, how many... Oh, this is my idea. Uh, it was... Um, my idea was um, what heap. Didn't we have something for heap? Oh, for heap? Oh my god, we, we have didn't. pile. We have which pile. Is toe. Tovo. Yeah. That would give us whoa. And of course, we'd like also it. know that it really means what father. Obviously. <laughs> uh, I think that works, right? Because then it's. Yeah, tovo. What pile? Pile is our plural prefix, so it makes sense that it's plurality and it's also how many. I like it. Okay, so then in terms of how it would be used. Oh, where are our. Da, 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 da. It would be. We just jumped in that document. So, the rabbit ate how much grass would be uh, uh, it could just be cowby um, right tovo 
and then because we don't know how much grass yeah and then it would need would it be singular or plural though would it be tulu instead of a dulu could be either Uh, for for or is it the same? Is it the same thing like with um, the the who where you could um, well, like if you say like how many and you use singular, then you're assuming that they didn't eat very many, versus how many and you use plural, then you're expecting a big number or something. Wow, two rabbits eat tofu? Sorry. Uh, well, they hear the um, the plurality of this item doesn't actually affect anything at all in the sentence. Oh, cool. Right. Yes? That's yeah, good. It's just, I'm trying to think, like, if I were a rabbit, would I say, you know, would I say tofu grass or would I say tofu grasses? The, the 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 plural is because uh, the plural is uh, the, the singular is bladed grass, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. if you were to say uh, tovo and tulu, it would mean how much of that single blade of grass did you eat, right? Interesting. And it could be very long, so Wait, it could be a quick. But then I, at that point, having that conceptual difference to me means that this needs to be caldeasas. It needs to be the plural form. Because I want to know how many, and I know there's more than one. Like, I assume you ate more than one, which is why I'm asking how many ones did you eat. Right, but this is the thing that triggers the agreement. Tovo. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. the, the, the verb Just a second, I gotta think through it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Dark Horse, that's where my brain keeps going and see how much versus how many. Um, but my brain is also stuck in that English place of the verb agreement also changes. What? But it doesn't have to. Um, there, no verb agreement with that. We're good. You, I mean, you wouldn't or there need, is verb agreement, but it's singular. Yeah, you wouldn't need to say, you know, it was a partitive or anything. This is uh, this is simply, remember, we have inalienable possession. So that's what's happening here. The, the precise nature of it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just that. Uh, and so, and this thing has been, the idea has been semantically bleached. Ah. Arturo, I have to ask. Are you a fan of Megadeth? The band. <laughs> um, anyway, so if this thing has been semantically bleached, it doesn't really take a plural. Okay. My brain is on a different problem now. Oh, okay. Shouldn't win be of way? with the stress on the second element? No. Um, and the reason why is that we have been stressing all compounds with fue. Um, we have been stressing them all opposite from what we do with regular compounds. Because the main word is the bigger one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'm okay. making sure all the other compounds, because suddenly I was just like, wait, have we been really doing compounds correctly? We don't have that many, so. No. And that's a plural form, not actually a compound. Okay, okay, I think I'm good. The afternoon sun is really heating up this room. Mm, I bet you could use some ice cream, couldn't you? Sure could. Go for some Nata Moo. Oh, yeah. Delicious, dairy-free awesomeness. 
<laughs> okay, and then it's not on the stress in the demonstrative pronoun or adverb forms because same kind of foy situation. Which ones? Lashen and las laswa. And I'm sure the same is going to go for the um, proximal forms. I just haven't come across those yet in the dictionary. Yeah, because those are weird. They're demonstratives. And so they get to be weird. OK. Yeah. OK. Anyway, though, I think that's, uh, I think that's done. Our WH words are done. OK. Oh, do we need to enter? What was the one we just did? Tofuo. And that one is how many, correct? Um, yes. How many or how much? OK. Get that added in. Well, that, um, would you call that a determiner the way it's being used? Or is it ever going to be a pronoun? Uh, is what? It would be a pronoun, right? The how many or how much? Yes. Trying to think of it from the rabbit point of view. And those are the only two definitions. How many, how much? Yes. OK, perfect. OK, I'm going to take this and put this in our new notes section, which is up here. <clears throat> we can get rid of these when we actually have these entered in the analyside, and so we have the etymologies. Um, I think I just, that was weird. Oh, you I know, I accidentally clicked on a bookmark. Oh, you know, what we should um, announce while you're doing this is um, something that we're also going to be doing on our Patreon is answering uh, questions just about, not yeah. necessarily about uh, this, it can be, but just about anything, anything conlang related. Um, or language related. So um, if, if you have questions, I mean, you can put them in the chat, but we might lose them. So just get it to us in some way. You can email, email us at, um, what is it, Langtime Studio Gmail? Yeah. That's correct. Or tag either one of us on Twitter. Um, or both of us with Langtime Studio. Yes, right, yeah. Whatever. Uh, so if you have, like, you know, longer language questions or shorter it doesn't matter but some some question that maybe wouldn't make sense necessarily in the course of our stream um feel free and um, yeah also on that same vein since we're thinking about submitting any questions you may have uh if you have any artwork that goes Ooh, with yeah. Ingala, the rabbits the language and you would like it to be featured on our Instagram channel. Is it called a channel on Instagram? I really don't know the right term. But on our Instagram area, um, send it our way. And we will happily include that because we're going to try to um, continue posting things like artwork. And I, you get to see me have fun trying to get back into drawing. Mm -hmm. OK, so I think for next week this is probably where we're gonna go uh, this is this should probably be short um, uh, adjective uh, placement I mean I'll just mention that up there but um, we decided there wasn't going to be adjectival agreement so the only thing is going to be comparison uh, and it's definitely I mean I'm just assuming it's going to be the case that we're not going to be doing any type of affixation or anything like that it'll be prolix uh, comparison 
So we'll need to figure out how that works uh, next time. And the thing is, I, I think that almost takes care of everything that we usually put in the grammar. Um, there is coordination to talk about. Participles, we can talk about that probably at the same time as we're doing comparison. Mm -hmm. I think that should be very short. Um, adverbs, yes. Okay, yeah, so, so we got a little bit to do, a little bit to do, but we're really, really, really getting close to being done with everything that we need to put in there until we forget about stuff. Um, so the other thing, though, um, we didn't really have very many derivations, so if we did want oh, no. to do derivation that obviously gets added to the list you're getting down there now um yeah. and also i have an idea for a poll but i may need you to refine it and tell me if it's just too much okay let's do it so we don't have number terms and we oh, may yeah, need yeah, yeah. 30 of them <laughs> which means we're gonna need 30 really basic roots right well, not quite. Not quite. Okay. Or so, could we have four and then a root for something over here in, in kind of compound forms? There are, there are a number of things that need to be looked into with respect to this. So I do need to revisit um, counting by paw. Mm -hmm. And it seems likely that some of these terms will be related to words for the hand okay at least mm -hmm. um and then there might also be other relationships uh but the thrust of your question is yes because um, I feel like we've kind of ignored since we voted, or they, the patrons voted on a thirty base counting system. We went, oh, <laughs> made yeah. a chart, and then promptly moved on with the language, um, which we haven't needed it yet either. But I, I think that would be a neat thing to start thinking about. We could do that. It'll be very difficult to set up, and I might need your help with it. Okay. Or even if we just got, because we have a word for ear, right? We Do need we? a word for paw, though, correct? Do we have a word for ear? What was it? Well, now that I said that, I'm starting to question whether we do, so I'm looking right now. Yes, AC. Because to twitch your ears, chess is, which right, is technically right, right. twitch in ears. SC, that's um, nice. And so, yes, so we do have a word for ear, but since the paw is the other major counting component, because um, we have like paw print. Oh, we do have paw, it's just pad up. Okay. For some reason, I thought that was print, paw print. So we have SE and pada for the two counting things. Like so. Yeah, I don't know. Is this hmm? Is this t hmm? We can do this. We can do this. It'll. It just may take some figuring. Do we want to do figuring? Well, I mean, we're gonna be on this language at least two more weeks, right? Yeah. At least. Yeah. 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 So if we don't do the number poll this time, it would be something for a future poll that we already know is coming up. That's true. But then we need another poll for this week. We would, yes. And I'm oh, those are, I'm trying to think if there's like a way. Oh, we need. Surely we're going to have some sort of diminutive or augmentative derivation right mm -hmm. maybe both yeah so could patrons vote on the thing that would be classically small to be the form of the diminutive like what is the classically small example and the classically big example that's fun i like that <laughs> um 
it, it, it'll be a it'll be a big poll where everybody's just uh, submitting stuff. So right. Um, we should probably do one at a time. Mm-hmm. So that you know, otherwise it could get confusing. Um, and the reason, by the way, I see a lot of suggestions. People really want to work on color words. Um, and I think David and I had mentioned this in a past live stream. We found out that rabbits don't see the same colors we do. And so we had yeah. talked about, I'm not sure that a decision was ever made whether the anthropomorphized sizing <laughs> <laughs> process not only added more syllables to the word, but also added potentially more color variation possibilities and so that sort of opened up a rabbit hole if you will um and we (laughs) haven't gotten back to really talking about color um and so that's actually a bigger discussion than some people may think yeah because uh they certainly see a much less wide range of color Mm -hmm. uh and so we need to figure out what uh colors that we can see that those map onto and then figure out all right where are we going to draw the the boundaries Mm -hmm. and then figure out what the terms are going to be um the thing that i mean i guess if if you wanted to have like a color wheel you could draw different boundaries and they could vote option a b c or d for where they want the boundaries drawn yeah the thing that was really tough for me Mm -hmm. was that i was looking and i think that you actually have the same colors on different parts of the circle which would mean that it's not like, you know, here's this color, here's this color. It's more like here right. and also here is this color. Um, but It would be a cross-section, essentially, because the, cause the, yeah. the spectrum actually conflates going this way with the way they see color, right? I don't like the complementary colors actually match up. I don't even remember, honestly. It, it's, it's, it's also going to take looking into. I think it's a great idea for a poll. We just, I mean, we too, we need to do some more research before before it can be done um ooh. what'd you get you, you seem to get excited about something logan is suggesting things that are the same color to a human are not necessarily the same color to a rabbit i'm not sure that's true right well i guess they will be hmm well, Logan, that's actually what he was saying, too, was that, like, a color on this part of the wheel, a rabbit would see it the same as this color, but human eyes see it way on the other side of the wheel. Mm-hmm. And so, like, that was part of the problem of drawing boundaries that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, the amount of forms... Um... Oh, I added that note because oh, you the added L did note. change to a yeah. Oh, no, no, it didn't. It just got elided. Okay. Elided with the U. The L elides in the event. And then between vowels. Yeah. That's what happened. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, so anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Um, the poll then. What did we just say it was going to be? Because colors were a bigger discussion. Numbers yes. were going to be a big thing. We're going to do a diminutive. That's right. What is the classic big thing and a classic little thing? Except that it's only going to be a little thing. Because we're only doing diminutive because we need to separate them. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Good. Awesome. All right. Fantastic. Cheers. Woohoo! We survived. Okay. So then, I don't know, with the 30 or 40 seconds that we have left, what are we going to do? Um, I would, I would, I would like to go to the wilds of the internet and and try to do this, but you know, don't blame me if I come up with something crazy. So red, green, colorblind, 
Uh, it was a Deuteranopia. That was it. Okay, actually that, so... Okay, this makes it look much clearer than the one I saw, which was the circle one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right, 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 yeah. Deuteranopia. I'm trying, I want to see if I can find the circle one. Um, this was, that was that circle one. You know what I'm saying? Hold on a sec. I want to find that circle yeah. one. Uh, okay. Because I remember you had sent that to me. Yeah. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? Like, these two colors look identical. These two right mm -hmm. here. What we would call uh, orange and green. They look pretty much identical. because it's like a cross-sectionality. It's like the complementary colors actually kind of match on those parts of the spectrum. Yeah. Um, and so since they're not next to each other, that makes it weird. You can't just chop it off and say, you know, okay, this section is going to be this color, this section is going to be this color, and so on. It doesn't work. Now, the first one I found, though, that one on that first web page. Um, come on, little fella. This is much easier. This is much easier. This you can chop up, right? Right, yeah. Um, but I'm just not sure which one is supposed to be correct. Well, I mean, aren't they both correct? Because if you look at where the green and orange are here, they're pretty much the same color. Notice it doesn't really change shades until it hits the red. I'm moving my mouse like you can see what I'm pointing at oh. on the YouTube video. But if you look at that middle bar where the green uh -huh. and where the orange is represented, that's really all just kind of shades of the same color. Yeah, you're right. And then the red at the end kind of gets into that darker. So I guess at this point then the question is, would they see those two as shades of the same color, like all the way from the red all the way over to the blue side of the spectrum? Mm. Or would they see three distinct colors there? Or would they see five? Because there's those really light bars. Yeah. Um, one in between, you know, these halves and then that kind of light bluish. Well, the thing is, if you're going to do this the same way that at least... Um, at least, uh, if you want to go the Berlin and K route, you can start with dark versus not dark, and then split it off. What would the first split be? It seems likely that this would be the first split, mm -hmm. right? Because right. it's blue. Uh, I mean, because these right. are, are so similar. Then the next split might be, you know, kind of like a, a dark version of this, and then a light version of that, and then mm -hmm. dark version of that. You have your, your black and white. Um, right. And then after that, maybe I think it's the place where there are some strong poles. So like right there and right there. And mm -hmm. maybe there and there, I'm not even sure. Yeah. And so, I mean, definitely based off that spectrum, we can, I feel like that particular spectrum would be a better one to brainstorm ideas for, for what could be a future pole, perhaps. And, and also, um, Juniper Berry is asking about blood, and so it seems likely then that their blood would be gold, right? Right. Yeah. Um, where's brown in this? I guess, is, it, is brown supposed to be over here? I mean, this is a kind of brown. I'm looking at our spectrum, our normal spectrum. I mean, um, brown is a mixture of everything. Yeah, but like... I, I would say where the the orange is, depending on what kind of brown you want, you're either going to go yellowish orange or reddish orange, mm. and then make it a dark saturation. Yeah. Gold is the color of blood. Does sound super evocative. Uh, yeah, it would be a, a darker gold than presumably gold gold if if they actually come across it which would be somewhere here which would be somewhere here it would be a little bit lighter mm -hmm. huh. anyway um i i feel like we this actually could be another poll like in other words just 
take Ingella out of it, what are the color terms? <laughs> Right. You know, I uh, could do that. Um, well, and that's what, if we're going to do a color poll, I wouldn't want to even think about what words or roots right. would be applied to it. I Until, would just want to say, like, where are the distinctions? We could do that. And how do they match up with, like, so that way we would understand if we see something red, it needs to be in this family of colors. So we would need to map it out to human yes. colors kind of roughly just to understand we could do that. We could do that actually. Um, so this this would end up being a two part poll, a two week poll. So first we start. What color terms are we going to have at all? Um, right. How many? And then right. after we have that, we decide. Maybe we could do that this week instead. What do you think? I like that better because I also yeah. feel like the diminutive and augmentative is something that we could also do during a live stream. But also as a future poll, if we need, if we don't have time. Hold on a sec. This, this sounds like a wonderful experiment. Logan is saying, I just looked this up, but apparently rabbit spectral response is also tested by flashing them with monochromatic lights and observing which ones bug them the most. <laughs> Rabbits. <laughs> Man. Oh in goodness. Applesauce Project, I, I do see that adding black to pure colors leads to brown, but also as a child, I can tell you that mixing all the paint colors ends up with brown, too. <laughs> all right. I, I think this is good. So um, I'm going to try to to formulate this poll. Um, okay. if, you have, um, if you have a lot of background knowledge about this specific type of, of color blindness and where the, the strong poles might be, um, and you want to just kind of summarize some information and send it to us, send it to me today, if you would. Please. I would appreciate it. Otherwise, yeah, that this, this could be cool. I like this. So, all right. I do too. All right. And, uh, and yeah. So, uh, anyway, I will say that uh, I'm going to enjoy some actual ice cream <laughs> has that been sitting there the whole time or did someone just randomly sneak ice cream over to you while we've been talking manna from heaven oh nice mm. Mm -hmm. what he's not saying is he installed a mini mini freezer right there so that way he could always have ice cream mm. we're so good anyway um so uh thank you for watching jesse Yes, thank you, and don't forget to ask us your questions, tag mm -hmm. Lang Time Studio if you, you do have questions for us, and send us your artwork if you would like. Um, otherwise, in the meantime, stay grammar, stay safe, and look forward to seeing you next week. Mm. Do I need to do something so it's obvious that yeah. oh, we're so done? Oh, good. Oh, somebody said it. Somebody said it applesauce project thank you you saved us <laughs>